This is tutorial number 116, and it covers the manipulation feature within CATIA v5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 113, which is located on the DVD. Now what we're going to be using is the manipulation command here. And what this is going to do is when we have a uh, positional constraints, we're able to use this uh, to move around the components. So to do this, what we're going to do first is just click on manipulation and you're going to get this box. So what we're able to do is we're able to drag components along an axis, along a plane, or we can rotate it around an axis or plane or around an axis. Now with each of these, you're also able to define axes and lines that you're able to drag them along. You're able to define a plane and you're able to define an axis. So if there's uh, a unique axis or plane that isn't within the uh, X, Y, and Z, you're able to define it yourself and then drag it along there too. So just to show you, uh, we have all these components here right now. So in the Y direction, we we're able to go left to right here. So if we click the block and drag it out to the left, click this guy, drag it out to the right, click OK. And now you can see that we've dragged it out. It's still in line with everything, but we've dragged them out to the side. Now we'll go into manipulation again. This time we'll do along a plane. So let's do the XY plane. And if we rotate it around a bit so we can see our XY plane, so it's going to be like this, and we're able to move it anywhere along that plane. And it's the same with the YZ. So you're able to just play around with these and just drag them around the planes that are defined. And then with rotating them, you have to click rotate. And then when you click it, it's going to be rotating around the X axis. Now you can see, you can figure out where it's going to be. So the X axis is going along here. So when you have it on X, of course, it's going to be rotating around it. And again, you're able to define an axis. So after we've rotated this guy, this is a unique kind of axis. So if we click it, and then click another component, we're able to rotate it around there. So you're able to define unique uh, axes, planes, and lines, just like I kind of explained beforehand. So the manipulation, uh, it's not a precise uh, positioning movement uh, tool, but you can use it for positioning to move it around, and you can even use it uh, with the uh, constraints. So when you're uh, throwing in your object first and you need to move it around a bit to allow the constraints to work correctly, you're able to use this tool too. But this uh, pertains a bit more to the positioning as you're able to move it around. But like I said, it's not 100% precise. It's uh, just a feely kind of tool. So when you click on it, there's no value. You're just kind of moving it to the position that you want. And that concludes our tutorial on the manipulation feature within CATIA v5.